My name is Sue Waldrop. I'm the service learning court, the brand new service learning coordinator over at Shelby Schools on the Lake. Um, and I noticed the common thread. I know everybody else has that the common thread is parents and teachers, and that really is the key. In my case, my parents were foreign missionaries. I grew up in India. <laughs> It's a daily philanthropic experience, but it didn't hit me till I was in my early teens. I'm going to date myself, but back in the 60s, India was hit by a major famine. It's going to be hard not to cry, but we were on the road one day, and a chain of men cut off the vehicle, which could be very dangerous, but they came up, they stopped our vehicle, they came up to my father, and they said, we are starving to death in our villages. They took, him out to, they took us actually out to a meal and then told us this. So he went and went through all the government red tape, found out how to get the wheat that the American government was sending to India, but which was piling up in the harbors. It was not getting into the villages. And he set up this entire program of shipping wheat into the villages, maintained the lives of 500,000 people through this really desperate time. So as a child and as a young teen, this really, I mean, I was involved. It was fun. We ran around wearing uh, U.S. wheat sacks as t-shirts. and we had, a, we had a wonderful time with it. But it was just this daily experience of helping people. Then we came back. We moved to Africa. That was a whole different experience. Then we came back to the United States for college, and I was working with some volunteer groups down in inner city Detroit. And I've got to say that that was the first time in my life that I ever experienced poverty. And that sounds so bizarre, but it was the biggest shock to realize that here in this land of plenty, there were so many people. I mean, it was a discrepancy between extreme wealth and extreme poverty. And believe it or not, Indian villages, I had never seen this before. So that just spiraled me in a different direction to realize that yes here here in america there's this incredible need and incredible you know opportunity to help other people and then i bumped into somebody gave me some little line a truism they said you know at any given time in history we are only one generation away from total barbarism so <laughs> that was just the next, that was just the next sea change. It's like, okay, I give. I, was, I grew up giving. I volunteer. I do this stuff. Wonderful. It's me, me, me. And I realized, no, wait a minute. I'm a mother and an educator. It's more than me volunteering. If I don't help my children and the children that I teach to learn that they need to care about their neighbors, the next generation's lost. So it just took it to that next step. And I'm brand new at this whole thing. I've never been involved in this kind of an education process. I'm so excited because here's the tools that we can use to make sure that we aren't the only ones giving, that our children in this little group aren't the only ones giving, but that we'll get to all the children in the schools and just pass this on to the next generation.